Well, the search is on for the Tablighi Jamaat head, Maulana Saad Kantalvi, after he was booked for leading a religious gathering in Delhi's Nizamuddin. This was in violation of government orders. Maulana Saad had made an open call to violate the lockdown orders in the undated audio that's accessed by India Today. In fact, Maulana Saad can be heard exhorting Muslims to assemble for prayers in mosques despite the lockdown orders being in place. Remember, a Tablighi Jamaat congregation was organized in Nizamuddin from March 1st to 15th, which saw the participation of at least 2,000 people, including foreigners. Several positive COVID-19 cases found in different states have links to this congregation, including 24 in Delhi. Moreover, at least six people who had attended the congregation have died of coronavirus in Telangana. <laughs> کہ مزید میں جمع ہونے سے بیماری پیدا ہوگی یہ خیال بالکل باطل خیال ہے اور میں کہتا ہوں اگر تمہیں تمہارے تجربے میں یہ نظر بھی آ جائے کہ مسجد میں آنے سے آدمی مر جائے گا تو اس سے بہتر مرنے کی جگہ کوئی ہونی سے سی بیمار ہائے ہائے صحابہ تمنا کرتے تھے کاش دعوت دیتے ہوئے موت آوے کاش نماز موت آوے انہیں نماز میں خطرات نظر آ رہے ہیں یہ نماز چھوڑ کر بھاگیں گے اس لیے تاکہ عذاب ہٹ جاوے اللہ عذاب لائے نماز چھوڑنے کی وجہ سے یہ عذاب ہٹائیں گے مسجدوں کو چھوڑنے کی وجہ سے سوچے تو صحیح کیسی الٹی سوچے اللہ عذاب لا رہے مسجدوں کو چھوڑنے کی وجہ سے یہ عذاب ہٹا رہے ہیں مسجدوں کو چھوڑنے کے ذریعے سے سوچے تو صحیح کتنی الٹی سوچے یہ شیطان کا وہم اور وسوسا ہے اور جتنے اہل باطل ہیں وہ ایسے موقع سے فائدہ اٹھا کر کہتے ہیں کہ ہم اہل دنیا ہم جانتے ہیں تم مولوی علماء کیا جانو بیماریوں کا دفاع کیسے ہوتا ہے ڈاکٹر جانتے ہیں نہیں صرف اس ڈاکٹر کی رائے قابل قبول ہو سکتی ہے جو ڈاکٹر خود متقی ہو دیندار ہو اللہ سے ڈرنے والا ہو اللہ سے ڈرنے والا ہو اور عمل کا شوقین اور پابند ہو وہ بھی اگر وہ ایسا مشورہ دیتا ہے کہ جس سے عمل ضائع ہو تو اس پر اس پر بھی اس کی بات نہیں مانی جائے گی کہ جائے کہ کوئی فاسق فاجر آدمی یہ کہے کہ مسجدوں کو بند کر دینا چاہیے اور مسجدوں کو تالے لگا دینے چاہیے کہ اسی بیماری بڑھے گی اس خیال کو دل سے نکال دو Munish Pandey is joining us live this morning with all the latest updates on the story. Munish, we know that an FIR has been filed against Maulana Saad for, of course, the religious gathering that happened despite the government orders against any such congregation or gathering. Uh, is there also action that perhaps authorities will be taking over that audio tape that we have accessed in which Maulana Saad can be seen, you know, telling people to violate the lockdown order? Yeah, well, at this point of time, this audio clip is being treated as a crucial, crucial evidence in the case because uh, um, what police believes that uh, do, by this audio, he, uh, you know, incited the entire uh, uh, people. There were m most of the people who wanted to leave this um, uh, mosque in Nizamuddin, but uh, after listening to this audio, they uh, thought that staying inside the mosque will be a better option, and that is why this audio at this point of time is being treated. For the benefit of our viewers, I would like to show you the visuals of the uh, mosque where this uh, uh, gathering was taking place in Nizamuddin. Now, this is a very uh, congested street in Nizamuddin in national capital. More than 2,361 people were rescued yesterday. So it is believed that more than 3,000 people were staying in this Markaz and uh, uh, more than 824 nationals of uh, different countries were also staying at that point of time. Now why it has become very important because remember in last 24 hours the number of positive cases which has come up most of the cases are related to this Markaz. Those who attended the gathering and after leaving this Markaz, they went to different states, at least 15 states, and then they stayed in uh, different mosques. While traveling, they took trains and buses, and most of them were already COVID-19 positive. So it is believed that...
that uh, they might have transmitted, transmitted this novel uh, virus in different other peoples and now identifying them is going to be a very difficult task for the authorities. So as yes. of now, police is looking into criminal angle, but at the very same time, they are in coordination with the um, uh, police of uh, different states so that every individual can be identified and quarantined. Back to you. Okay, uh, Munish, thank you for joining us with those details. And as Munish pointed out, there are exaggerated efforts on at this point to identify all those who participated in the Tablighi Jamaat event in the national capital. And state authorities really across the country are tracing all of these people who participated in this event, which happened in Delhi's Nizamuddin, because the number of COVID-19 cases are surging. 29 new coronavirus cases, all linked to the Jamaat meet was reported in Delhi. Tamil Nadu has reported 110 new cases of COVID-19. All 110 cases are again linked to this event. As per the Tamil Nadu Health Ministry, at least 1,500 people from the state attended the meeting. Telangana government has identified all 194 people who visited Nizamuddin from the state. They've all been put under quarantine. A total of 342 people from Karnataka attended the markers in New Delhi. 200 people are now under quarantine. The UP government has registered cases against the people who visited Tablighi Jamaat. 156 people from the state had attended the event. Five people who attended the Jamaat event have tested positive in Rajasthan's Tonk. Meanwhile, five trains and over thousands of passengers are also under the scanner because they shared the train or the coach with the Tablighi Jamaat participants. Over a thousand people in a hall. Zero social distancing. These are visuals from the Tablighi Jamaat markers in Nizamuddin. Now at the center of nationwide contact tracing exercise, the biggest since the coronavirus outbreak. These people were stuck at the markers after the lockdown came into effect. By Wednesday morning, the entire building was cleared and over 600 sent into quarantine. Meanwhile, state governments are tracking down nearly 3,500 people who attended the Tablighi Jamaat and whoever else they may have gotten in touch with. Ten people who attended the Tablighi Jamaat congregation are dead. Authorities fear many participants may have chosen to go into hiding instead of coming out in the open. In Delhi, over 1,300 people are quarantined. Molana Saad Kandhalvi, the head of Tablighi Jamaat, is untraceable. There were over 1,500 people who attended this congregation with connections to many states from the north to the south almost. And six deaths were reported in Telangana on the same night when the news of those who were staying at the Markas building were found to have tested positive in a lot of hospitals where they were admitted for a test. The Tamil Nadu government has tracked down 515 participants. Contact tracing is very abstract. It is not very concrete. People may remember, may not remember. So to eliminate all those possibilities of errors, we have gone for a full-scale, full-city combing operations of dividing the city into so many blocks. Over 400 people are quarantined in Telangana. But here's the challenge. Nearly 160 Tablighi Jamaat participants who returned to Hyderabad are untraceable. Efforts are still underway to locate them. The KCR government has formed 200 teams to find these missing people. Our intelligence, our police, our health department, jitne log jo markazi Delhi gaya tha, wo log ko pakad ke aake, ham screening kar raha hai Gandhi Hospital mein. It's a similar story in Karnataka, where only about 40 participants out of 300 have been traced. A manhunt is now on. The Maharashtra police have filed three cases against trustees of a mosque run by Tablighi Jamaat. The trustees are accused of providing shelter to 29 foreign nationals illegally. They allegedly withheld information from authorities on those who attended the Nizamuddin event. 
It's been more than two weeks since the first death linked to Tablighi Jamaat was reported. Any delay in tracking the visitors to Tablighi Jamaat event could prove very costly. With Milan Sharma and Divyesh Singh, Bureau Report, India Today. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.